In this video clip, we learn how to use bar chart to visualize data of one categorical variable. In a bar chart, a bar shows a category, and the length of a bar represents the frequency or percentage of values in that category. So here we have a percentage bar chart. Let's see how to create a bar chart using Excel. Here we have data of mutual funds. We consider variable or column risk with values average, above average, and below average. We can summarize the data using a summary table. Then we can directly insert uh, here. A bar chart. But here we have unsummarized data, so an easier way is to use pivot chart. Click here. By default, we use all the data. This is fine with us. We click OK. Then from here, we first pick a categorical variable or a field. We can drag risk to this field. And then for value, we want to either count for frequency or find the percentage of each uh, categorical level. So we can still use risk. Okay, so by default, we see count. If we right click here, we can go to value field settings, for show values as here. By default, we have no calculation, so we show count or frequency. We can use percentage of column total if we want to show our percentage value. So let's just use the frequency here. Okay. Uh, this is a column chart or vertical bar chart. We can right click, change series chart type. We can change this to here, bar chart. Okay, click OK. You see here we have 58, 60, 62. Uh, this chart exaggerates the difference between different uh, categorical values. Actually, sometimes we want to show the exact uh, value or count of each categorical level. We can right click the axis part and click format axis. We can change the minimum from 56 to zero. You see, now we start the value from zero for the horizontal axis. So this is uh, good if we want to show the ratio between every two values, because if we start from 56, we only see the difference. We don't see the relative difference of each value relative to others. So this is a bar chart. Uh, 